Alright, uh, here's what I got so far. Use my insulated screwdriver to draw arc off this terminal. These three are phased together. Uh, I've only got the current gauge working right now. Uh, that's where I'm watching my current up. Uh, using my multimeter to watch the voltage off of these, I want to make sure that they uh, weren't retaining voltage or uh, taking a long time to bleed off, but they evidently got internal resistors that shun them off. So it dies right off the bat and they don't get hot. Uh, right now I have all 10 are hooked up to the uh, where the inputs are right here. 10 is way too many. When I draw the, well, when I plug it in, it's gonna draw 20 amps and hold it until I uh, draw an arc, then it'll go down. And I'm about to show you. All right, got power on, and you see I have a current draw of 20 amps. I pull an arc, and it goes down to zero. It goes right back to 20, so you know, evidently that's way too many. Okay, I unhooked all these. I'm only using one cap now. Okay, I got plugged in. Uh, you're at zero right now. You can draw arc. You can see it jumps a little. It goes up to about almost 25 amps. If I just hold an arc, it, it you know cruises along around 18. But you know it's, this is almost virtually the same thing as having no caps on it. It's hitting about 24, 25. And it goes by 18. And that's way too much current for my uh, circuit. Okay. Now I have just five caps hooked up, and this is what I found to be my sweet spot. When I plug it in, it won't have any uh, current, and it, it draws about the least amount of current as I can get. Okay, we're plugged in. Uh, now, as you can see, it's only drawn about a little less than 10. It goes up a little bit, but, you know, it hovers around 10 amps which is about the best I can get. It doesn't matter, the arc is still the same intensity here. 